Towers Corinthian Yacht Club was running the actual Southern Area Championship this weekend, with 13 boats entered, but not all turning out for the series. Three races were held on Saturday over a windward lured course on the Hillhead Plateau. Saturday's racing was dominated by Ragtime, which won the first race, was second in the next, then won the final race of the day. Behind them, Wobegong, Swedish Blue and Julia Bailey sailing Lawrence Mead's boat Freelance were the strongest contenders, with Wobegong winning the second race but then seeing a Z flag penalty drop her to fourth. After a long wait for wind on Sunday, racing eventually got underway in the afternoon when two races were sailed. Vestina 2, being sailed by Graham Bailey, took a second and first, while Julia Bailey had a third and second. But although Ragtime did no better than fifth and sixth, they hung on to win the series by a single point from Graham Bailey in second, with Julia Bailey taking third. The third round of the Red Funnel Cows Killboat Championship was being run by the Royal London Yacht Club this weekend, with two races a day over windward lured courses. With the Etchells racing for their Southern Area Championship and only one six metre turning out, racing was limited to Derings and Dragons. Giles Peckham's Dauntless was the boat on form on Saturday, coming out on top in both races. Defiant took second in both races, with Dolphin third in race one, while Finesse took third in the second race. On Sunday, a windless start to the day delayed racing, but it eventually got underway at half past one. Once again, Dauntless was on top form and took both race wins. Decoy and Finesse were second and third in race one, while Audact took second in race two, with Dolphin coming third. Team Russia's new Volvo 70 made an appearance for sponsors and supporters on the Solent on Sunday and was mobbed by the IRC crews who were waiting for wind to start their racing. Team Russia's entry was designed by Rob Humphreys and his team at Humphreys Yacht Design in Lymington and it sports a hard angular look that is common to the latest generation of these boats. We look forward to seeing how she performs against the other six entries in this year's Volvo Ocean Race. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this week's report. Join us next week for news from the Quarter Ton Cup, Jogs Race of St. Var, the Corby Cup, and the next round of the Cowskill Boat Solent Series. See you then. <laughs>